students and viewers uh, today once again uh, we are on another lecture on reading skills and uh, today uh, only two skills have been included one is skimming and other is scanning by the way this lecture is for bs second semester whoever is involved in teaching as well as in learning communication skills skimming and scanning as reading technique is an important part of uh, uh, communication skills so let us enter into that and see what we can talk about and discuss first of all uh, we need to see that uh, the the thing is defined as skimming and scanning skimming and scannings are the reading techniques that use rapid eye movements and keywords to move quickly through the text for slightly different purposes so it means that skimming and scanning are almost the same things because the purpose of these two is to understand something from the text is to read the given text or a given passage or a given page or a given essay but sometime we need to read from word to word to understand something and sometime we need very short uh, type of technique with which we can go through the reading very quickly for this purpose word to word reading is not necessary because of the shortage of time we use certain techniques to read the things very quickly this technique is quite useful for the people who are at the managerial or administrative level because of the shortage of time they need such techniques to read so here today there are only two techniques one is skimming and other one is scanning as the book also shows that the purpose is reading and both skimming and scanning are there in that way we will be continuing in the sense that skimming and scanning are almost the same but have different purposes for this purpose let us first of all understand what is skimming skimming is reading rapidly to get an overview of the material skimming is for general information skimming is like swimming through water first pay attention to the last words last line number 3 which says skimming is like swimming through water as for example someone swims through water under the water and his purpose is to know what is altogether experience instead of knowing what is the particular part of the water or what is the particular part of the things which are inside water his whole purpose is to go through that and let somebody know what he has found there so in that way a general type of information is to be sought out through skimming and it's a rapid technique to be done so rapidly in order to calculate a type of overview of the given material so if we are doing this type of reading that should be called as skimming why we need this skimming skimming is useful for previewing as well as for reviewing or as well as for determining the main idea Reviewing, for example, means that uh, you should say something about the text you are going to read even before you have read it. For this purpose, you will have to have a quick view of all the text which is given to you. That purpose is done only through skimming. Same is the case with reviewing. After we have read something, we may be wanted to say something. So, for that purpose also, we shall have to go through some of the things given on the text or on the essay. That will let us know how to present the review. Similar is the similar is the case when we want to give the main idea of the text. And for this purpose also, we have a very short time, and that will be very much good technique to save up our time. So that is the need of the skimming established through this. why we do skimming because the shortage of time when we need to have an overview or the view or review at that time skimming would be required now how to skim that the process what is the process going to be what is the way to do skimming first of all move rapidly through the pages do not read every word so the two things are quite necessary that we need to maintain the speed and do not need to read the whole words especially we need to attend to some of the typographicals like the headings like the bold faces like the italic types indenting bulleted things or number lists these should be our focus in order to see what are these and what idea is coming out of these things then we should go for the phrases important phrases or the key words or the names of the people or the places dates for example special nouns or certain words which we don't know which are unfamiliar to us may be taken care of we should also go for the table of contents of the given text if the table is available in order to see how the idea has been scattered across various sections of the book or that of the essay some of the headings and that of the uh, 
headings which are given at the end of the charts and the tables may also be looked upon if these are available. Same is the case with the introductory paragraph of the given text. That should be read carefully, just one paragraph, because it introduces very shortly what is going to happen throughout the given text. Then we may be going through the other passages also by considering the first sentence of the passage and the last sentence of the passage. That also generates some tough idea about the passage. And all these passages are combined together, they will, that will provide a type of review or a type of overview. Then we may be looking at some of the keywords, maybe the bold words or italic words. And after that, if some book or the given essay has got certain summaries provided, these should also be read out. So all these things combined together, instead of reading word to word, we may be going through and having an overview of that. We will be able to provide what the book is about, what the essay is about. That is why very quickly a type of a review is generated of the text that we want to read. Uh, and that way skimming proves itself to be very helpful. So in that way, who could be the possibly good skimmer? A good skimmer has to maintain the speed. His speed should be greater than the speed of a normal reading. But he should be slow at those places where introductory or concluding paragraphs are given. He should be slow at the topic sentence of each essay or each paragraph. He should also stop for a moment to look at the unfamiliar words and then uh, try to reread the complicated material if there is any. These things should be possessed by a good person, by a good reader, only then he can call himself a good swimmer. It means that he should maintain the speed, but his speed should also be the type of speed in which he can slow down at the places which I have mentioned in this slide. Let's talk about scanning and if you look at the pictures in both the pictures, uh, there is the glass looking glass, magnifying glass, with which the things can be magnified. I mean, this is the glass which is used for searching. So it means the scanning is searching. That is why scanning is reading rapidly in order to find specific facts. So that is not now to go through all the waters, but rather to find out a specific given thing at any part of the text, any part of the essay or the paragraph. If we are doing this, looking for a specific topic, specific fact or specific date or name, that would be called as the scanning. This is uh, about locating the facts, uh, like it's locating the pearls in every kind of things which may be here. If we are required to locate where the pearls are, that will be scanning. Or it means that the facts are to be found out in a very quick way, that would be called as scanning. It's just same as we go to the railway station or we go to the airport and look at the flight or train schedules and uh, we want to know about certain specific train or that of the flight we may be looking for the name of that flight only or the timing only or the city only and that would make us go through not by reading but by looking at the text given there and we will be able to reaching that place very quickly so that quick type of scan is called as scanning for the particular type of information now what is the way to scan that is first of all skim material first to decide see if the facts are there First of all, we should look at the essay, that the particular type of facts which we want to look for, are they available in the essay or not? For example, when we find that these are available, we may be scanning the tables, summaries, indexes, headings, and typographical cues in order to see whether the desired text is available there. These are the spaces which are mentioned in the second line, which can be done very quickly instead of reading out the whole text. We need to have uh, some keywords or phrases in our time, in our mind most of the time, because of which we will be able to find out where the particular phrase or the word can be existing. So that is why we should be looking for the keywords. And uh, at one time, we should look only for one keyword. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. We need multiple scans for multiple keywords. Uh, we should be like a person who floats it's over the surface hours. of the water in order to find out where a particular word can be there. Uh, however, one scanner should stop and see what other type of information possibly is available around a particular phrase or a particular term. This can help us generate the ideas even more quickly. So that is the way how to scan. So. Uh, Sometimes we need to scan the paragraph, given paragraph, for the sake of answering of the questions in a 
comprehension paragraph which are given mostly in the CSS examinations. We need to go for answering the questions which are given at the end of the passage. For this purpose also, first of all, we need to scan the questions in order to find out what are the keywords there in the questions. Then we should go forward by taking just one keyword and entering into the paragraph to find out where that particular information is available. When we have found that particular information in the shape of a word or a phrase, or a noun or any type of date, then we should see the surrounding area. There possibly the answer of our question can be. In the same way, each question should generate certain keywords or phrases and we may be looking these words in the passage and finding out the answer that we can write. So in this way, scanning can also be helpful in uh, answering the questions which are given in the comprehension passages. Uh, for all this activity, one needs to, however, as the experts advise to remain relaxed and at ease, only then we can do this. Otherwise, a quick, a short tempering type of situation can cause a lot of trouble as well. So we are concluding by saying that how to skim as the summary of the whole lecture. Here that first we read the title for the skimming, read the introduction of the first paragraph, read the first sentence of every other paragraph, read any headings or subheadings, notice any pictures, charts or graphs, notice any italicized or boldface words or phrases, read the summary or the last paragraph. And that will be the total way how to skim. And same is the case with the uh, scanning also, state the specific information you are looking for and and then use clues to help you locate the answer, for example, dates or names. Use headings to reach quickly the desired information. Selectively read and skip through sections of the passage. So that is what we may be looking for scanning. We may be learning. It's the final summary of skimming and scanning. The last slide is to say goodbye to you. And uh, so this is the day when we all are saying and offering our tributes to the frontline workers here. So my last slide also has a thank you word for all these frontline workers today. So thank you very much whoever has watched this. If you people are pleased with that, do not fail to, you know, give your, give your subscription there by hitting the subscribe button. And uh, in that way, we are, time has come to say goodbye to you people. That's it from me for this day. See you soon.